Danse's earliest memories are of growing up an orphan living in the capital wasteland. As a child he made a dangerous living by scavenging the DC ruins until he could afford to open his own junk stand in Rivet City. It was at that time he befriended a man named Cutler, and together the two scraped by as traitors. When the Brotherhood of Steel began recruiting, Dance and Cutler agreed it was the best way out of nowhere lives. Under the command of Paladin Krieg they both became successful soldiers, but a year after being posted to the Pride when Cutler disappeared on assignment. Dance spearheaded a three-week search for the missing squad which ultimately led to a super mutant hive. There it was revealed that Cutler's team had been killed, and Cutler himself had been exposed to the forced evolutionary virus. Dance, saddened to discover his friend had been mutated, killed Cutler. The experience incited an intense hatred in Dance of most non-humans including super mutants, ghouls, and synths. By the year 2287, Dance had risen to become one of Arthur Maxon's most respected officers. He was assigned a reconnaissance team and dispatched to the Commonwealth to investigate the Institute, but misfortune quickly reduced their force to three survivors. When the sole survivor first encounters Paladin Dance, he and what's left of his squad are holed up in Cambridge Police Station, unable to proceed with their mission. Dance enlists the aid of the survivor to help retrieve an item from the nearby Arcjet Systems Complex. Afterward, he offers the survivor the rank of initiate in the Brotherhood of Steel, should they wish to join. Dance becomes a full companion following Shadow of Steel provided the survivor enlists with the Brotherhood. He is fiercely loyal to the Order and travels with the survivor to ensure their ideals are being upheld. As their relationship develops, Dance confesses to being burdened by the losses of colleagues, friends, and mentors killed by the many horrors of the wasteland. Unwilling to let their sacrifices be for naught, he asserts the Institute and its synths must be eradicated for the safety of mankind. He believes synths are the embodiment of technology spiraling out of control, and their existence could bring about the end of humanity. As the main story progresses, the sole survivor will have an opportunity to hack into the Institute's mainframe. Should they provide the Brotherhood with a copy of this data, it is confirmed through DNA analysis that Paladin Dance himself is a missing synth, designated M797. Dance goes AWOL and flees to listening post Bravo. Outraged by the apparent infiltration of his inner circle, Elder Maxon orders the survivor to track Dance down and execute him. Once located, a suicidal Dance is adamant he did not know he was a synth. The disgraced paladin then encourages the survivor to carry out their orders, insisting that he must be the example, not the exception. The survivor must then choose to execute Dance or convince him to leave the Commonwealth. If persuaded to run Dance will leave the bunker only to find that a suspicious Elder Maxon has followed the survivor to his hiding place. A confrontation will occur in which the survivor will again have to decide the synth's fate. Should Dance survive the events of blind betrayal he will be grateful and, with Maxon's promise not to have him hunted down, stays to aid the survivor in their mission. When they rendezvous sometime later Dance is still coming to terms with his nature. Though grateful to the sole survivor for saving him, the sudden loss of his identity, memories, and career leave him grasping for answers. The sole survivor can attempt to comfort him and, if so desired, may express a romantic interest. Dance will recoil at first, shocked the sole survivor could be in love with a synth but eventually admits to feeling the same way. He asks for patience as he works through his human emotions and vows to remain steadfast at his partner's side.